Tarja and Michael Lemo. Uh, today we're looking at this 1960s Dan Electro Longhorn. Uh, this is going to be strung as a regular six string uh, E to E or baritone B to B, um, which this one in fact is. Uh, I personally have an affinity for baritone guitars. I have four of them myself. Uh, one, it really helps my voice for singing, and I just like the lower register. Like if I was to play a piano, I'd probably be on the left side. So this is kind of <laughs> the left side of guitar, I guess, um, in terms of that low, deep tone. And uh, this guitar is really interesting because I'm still figuring it out myself uh, because it's got these witch hat knobs and they, sh they shut off. You get like, these pickups are split, so you get more options than you could even imagine. And then you have this extra long fretboard, I believe it's like brown. 24 frets, so it really plays like a piano. It really does. It, you get the range and everything. So uh, we're going through this Gibson Maestro Deluxe Reverb Echo. This is from 1961. This has also got a knob on a knob, uh, and you get kind of like an echo reverb effect. The echo is really a tremolo, but it kind of does this 3D effect. So we'll start with uh, like a big echo atmospheric, and then we'll try another sound after that. So here is more of the um, the toned down, more moody pickup, and uh, we're going to turn the tremolo on and the reverb at the same time. Let's let's take a listen. Without pedals, this is all 60s gear straight in. Um, so now let's look with the tone up a little bit more and show what I like about uh, baritone guitars is for hybrid picking, you can kind of get a bass line going at the same time and your high leads, and it really sounds like full by yourself. So uh, let's take a listen. Electro Longhorn, very unique, and uh, go baritones. Take care.